Hi everybody, my name's Tony, and I'm here with the Everyday Counts program. We have an hour together for yoga, and today we're going to be focusing on stabilizing through the body and moving from there. So, to start with, we'll start in a seat, somewhere that you feel stable. So if that's a chair, then start in a chair. If sitting up on top of something, which often feels more comfortable for a lot of us, is the place to be, then do that as much as you need to. And then we'll come to a comfortable, stable place. Rooting down through our seat, connecting down to the support underneath us. And if you're not feeling comfortable where you are, take the time here to change things up, to shift your body in any way where you do feel a little more comfort. Inhaling and exhaling. I'm starting to tune into our practice today and that might mean softening your gaze or closing your eyes and with those longer breaths just allow yourself to start to land here to be wherever it is that you're sitting notice that support underneath you and allow the everyday world to get a little softer around you Notice how you're feeling today. Notice your energy levels. Be aware of how your physical body feels today. Is there anything you can change up here for you to feel just a little more connected downwards to that earth underneath you? Root down under the, into the earth underneath you and lift from there through the upper body. You can even take those fingertips down to the floor or support underneath you to get that connection downwards and connect to that lift through the upper body. And start to notice the breath, inhaling and exhaling. I'm starting to create a stable breath here too. And so a mindful breath in all the way to the top and a mindful breath out all the way to the bottom of the exhale. And noticing if there are parts of the breath that you can start to stabilize here, smooth it out. You might even notice on the inhale how you can root down and imagine a lifting through the crown of your head on an inhale and on an exhale, a drawing down, back down to that steady earth underneath you, what, whatever your stability is. And so it's almost like a traditional thermometer lifting up on an inhale through the crown of the head and on an exhale finding that grounding sensation at the bottom of the exhale. Even at the top of that inhale as we're drawing up it's almost like we're stretching an elastic band because we still have that connection to the earth underneath us. And if you have no idea what I'm talking about that's okay too. Steady, smooth breath, as smooth as you can make it. Rooting down to rise. We're going to take that right hand out beside us and with the left hand we're going to circle through that left wrist one direction. Our seat and the right hand on the floor or the chair is where we're moving from. We'll go around in the opposite direction through that left hand. 
and then start to move through the shoulder. So we have the stability through our base and through the right side of the body and we're moving fluidly through the left side. Back in the opposite direction. And so to move, we always need that support. Mm -hmm. The left hand comes out beside you, palm up, inhaling up, exhaling, taking the palm down. Great place to stay right here or moving from the shoulder, inhaling up, exhaling down in your own time. Working with your breath in conjunction with the breath, the movement coming along with the breath. You can take those fingertips over to the right using that right hand to support you. Breath is stable and steady. Notice the places in your body that feel stable here, allowing that fluidity to happen. Staying here or three breaths reaching your choice, opening through the collarbones again as you're breathing that fluid breath. Notice the stability underneath you and the fluidity of breath. Stay for the last exhale, and when you're ready, coming all the way back. Left fingertips come down. Right palm lifts as we circle through the wrist. Soft fists, or you can stretch out those fingers, move them as much or as little as you want, and round in the opposite direction. The breath is guiding the movement. Option to stay here, option to start to circle through that right shoulder. And again, notice where you have stability. And notice the fluidity. Easy movement, as easy a movement as you can find, no matter how big or small that is, or how much you need to rest. Right hand comes out, palm to the sky, inhaling up, exhaling down from the elbow. Stay here, or start to move from that shoulder. Fingertips coming as high or as low as feel good for you or you can take those fingertips over to the left. That left hand and your seat is supporting you within that move. As much or as little as feels good, but the breath is guiding you always. Option to stay here, option next time you come over to stay. Open up through that right armpit. Find the fluidity of breath within the stability you have underneath you. And then on the next exhale, we're coming all the way down. Any movement you need to ease any tension, go ahead. Then we're coming over onto hands and knees from there. If you need support underneath you, like a folded blanket or a towel, please go ahead and do whatever it is you need or even double or triple your mat under your knees as you kind of fold it over and that'll help for support too. Cat and cow here, hands and knees and feet at a comfortable width for you. Spreading the fingertips nice and wide and again, always adapting for your body. So if it feels better to be on forearms, please go ahead and do that. Belly draws in, push into the hand so the back of the heart rises too and the back of the head. Cat and cow in your own time. So on an exhale, the back of the ribs draw towards the sky. On an inhale, the belly lifts uh, towards, the body, belly drops towards the floor as we lift the sit bones and the gaze. 
inhaling and exhaling in your own way, allowing the head and the hips to come along for the movement. If that feels okay in your lower back and your neck, Stability underneath you, allowing for the movement through the spine. Working with the breath always, the breath flowing as much as the movement is flowing. Coming back to center, and then we'll take those big barrel rolls through the spine here again. Fluidity, as much as we can find it, from the stability underneath us. And we'll go around in the opposite direction there. If you ever need to change up your foundation because that feels more stable for you, please go ahead and do that. Coming all the way back to center when you're ready. And then from here, we're gonna draw the knees in towards each other a little for that extra stability. And we're gonna take that right leg back, toes to the floor, pulsing. And from here, taking the toes to the floor and stabilizing yourself here. This might be enough stable breath. If you want to, we're going to pick up that heel on the inhale, exhale, tap it down. Inhaling and exhaling, keeping the torso stable from the stability of the hands and your left knee and toes or top of the foot, depending on your position there. And then when you're ready, lifting the heel, staying for three breaths, inhaling and exhaling. Option to stay here, option to hover the front hand. Last breath here, taking the hand down and the knee comes down to join it, cat and cow here. We're going to take that same right leg out and we're going to cross it over onto the left side. And if this feels enough, you're going to stay here. We're going to come down onto the right forearm and the left hand, or the right hand, sorry, comes over to the left. Okay. Right toes down. And then we'll take the right toes all the way over to the left. Left forearm, right arm reaches towards the left. So we get this length through the left side from the fingertips all the way through the toes. Breathing into the right side here. Use your foundation, draw the belly in towards the spine somewhat. Maybe that changes things up. You've got another couple of breaths here. When you're ready, taking the hands back underneath the shoulders and drawing the right knee in, cat and cow. Left leg comes out behind you. Inhaling and exhaling, pulsing, changing up your foundation. Stay there or come to stillness. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Notice where you have the stability in the body and how we can move from that stability. Option to stay with the heel lifted. Three breaths, option to lift up through the right hand, thumb to the sky, breathing. And 
And then on the exhale, the hand comes down, left toes come down. Excellent place to stay. We can switch those left toes over towards the right, on or off the mat, however much it feels comfortable. Belly is still drawn in here. Great place to stay. Right hand comes down, and we're reaching over towards the right with the left hand. Use what feels good to you here, and then breathe into the whole side of your body. Left side, left ribs, can draw the belly in a little. We get a little flexion in the spine. Notice how that feels, a couple of breaths here. When you're ready, hands come back underneath you for support. Cat and cow. And then we'll take that right foot round and forward. Give it a little bit of a help when you need to. Left hand supports you. Maybe the thumb spins forward there. On the inhale, we're taking that right arm up towards the sky, exhaling, tapping down. I'm gonna come forward so you can see me. Inhaling up, exhaling, tapping down. And you can take that right arm back behind you if that feels comfortable. Take the gaze with that thumb or up towards the sky or fix your gaze if you need to. From here, extension option to stay. And we're breathing. Notice your foundation, the stability, and notice the fluidity of the breath from there. And when you're ready, the right hand comes all the way down, hand up to the thigh, and up we come for support. Fixing your gaze is going to help you find stability here. Taking that right foot to where is comfortable for you and the left foot back behind you. Hand to the front thigh and we're rocking forward and back, simply noticing if we need to change something up in our body for it to feel better for us. Padding that left knee as much as you need to. And you can always double over your mat underneath that knee if that feels better. On an inhale, option to stay. Notice what feels best in your pelvis, drawing the right hip back, left hip shines forward here, great place to stay. If you're adding on, you can take your hands to your hips, or the arms go up above you. Hands behind your skull, widen through the elbows, and wherever it is that you're staying, we're here for a few breaths. Find the stability underneath you. Come back to the steadiness of the breath. And if you feel stable, challenge yourself here, closing the eyes or softening the gaze. Trust the foundation underneath you, that stability, the solidity underneath you. Steady the breath. You have another couple of breaths here. Stay for the next exhale. If your eyes were closed or softened, open them. Hands come to the thigh. Take the hands down to the inside of the right foot and that right foot comes round and back. Left foot steps forward. Pad the right knee any amount that you need to. Right hand is underneath the right shoulder. Maybe the thumb turns forward a little bit. Just decide what feels best in your body. On the inhale, we're lifting, exhaling, taking it down on a tap. Notice if you need to change up your foundation to get that lift through the arm. There is no right or wrong here. You're just figuring out for yourself what feels better. 
option to take that left hand back a little more to get that rotation through the spine. You can stay here or stay and breathe. Inhaling and exhaling, taking that gaze with you any amount. We always use the stability underneath us to find fluidity of movement and the breath is always as fluid as we can make it. Option to come all the way back, hand comes to support and up we come to a low lunge. You get to play around with the front leg and the back leg, tucking the toes, untucking the toes to what feels better for you. Hands on the thigh, coming forward and back again, patting that right knee as much as you need to. Within the foundation underneath as we have all this movement, take the foundation away, we don't have that fluidity. Come to a place that feels comfortable and play with what feels right in your pelvis here, whether you're tilting one way or another, or you're leveling out the hips. Great place to stay here. Hands to your hips might make you feel a little bit more stable. Rooting to rise always. Arms can come up or hands behind the skull. Opening up towards either side of you through the elbows, however much it feels comfortable in the shoulders. And we find stability. Option to stay here. If this is challenging enough, stay. If you want to add on, tune into the foundation underneath you, that stabilizing point, an option to soften the gaze or close the eyes. And as soon as we soften the gaze or close the eyes, we really need to trust that foundation underneath us. We need to trust the fluidity of the breath, Another couple of breaths, always coming out early, always opening your eyes if you need to. This is your practice. Stay for the last exhale if you're not resting already. And then the hands come to the thigh. Hands come down to the inside of that left leg and it comes round and back. From here, coming into child's pose, a deeply grounding pose. So big toes towards each other. If you need to sit up on a bolster or support, please do. Hands, forearms, stacked fists, stacked palms. Or you can come all the way down to the floor. Palms in front of you, palms back by your heels. There is no right or wrong here. What feels the most grounding to you? And then you can always come to movement, swaying the hips from side to side. That feels okay in your joints. Come back to the foundation of the breath and allow your body to sink into that support underneath you. Couple more breaths here. And then when you're ready, we're coming all the way up to standing. Coming all the way up to standing, mountain pose. Feet a comfortable distance for you. Palms towards me, rolling the shoulders back and down, rooting to rise. Come back to that steady breath. On the inhale from the elbows, taking the palms up, exhaling down. 
Finding that stability underneath you and moving from there. The inhale is that lifting quality. The exhale, that drawing down, back down to the earth. So within each breath, we find the grounding underneath us, but we find that lifting from there too. From here, hands come to the hips. We're taking the feet closer and towards each other. Now coming into some balancing here, if you have a wall or a chair or a countertop close by, then use that for support if it feels good to you. We're going to take that support on the left side if you need it, rooting through the left leg, lifting through the right hip. Uh, right heel. And then all we're going to do is take that right foot out towards the side. Notice if your hips have switched with you, twisted with you, and draw the hips to center. Rooting to rise. Find that foundation through the left foot and the toes on the right side or the ball of the foot. Again, support there if you need it. Rooting to rise. On the inhale, we're going to flex the foot so the right foot is all the way off the floor, exhaling down. Inhaling and exhaling. Mm -hmm. And this is a great place to stay right here. If you want to add on, we're going to flex that foot. This is the inhale. On the exhale, we're taking the ankle towards each other. A little bend in that right leg. Inhaling, exhaling. If you have that support on the left side, consider hovering the hands or a lighter touch. Finding the foundation in the left leg to find that movement through the right. Adding on from here, lifting through the right leg and staying. We've got three breaths. Find your foundation and lift from there. So we're lifting through the crown of the head, but we're also pushing through that right heel. Steady breath. Exhale, that right foot comes down. And any movement or softening you need in the left leg, go ahead. From here, same thing, other side. So countertop or the support is on the right side. Root down through the right leg, bend the left knee. Great place to stay right here. Without shifting the hips, we take the left leg out towards the side. Excellent place to stay. On the inhale, flex the foot, toes come up, exhaling down. Great place to start to play with that stability in the right leg. 60% of our walking is on one leg, so it's really important to gain the balance here, to keep being able to walk, to keep walking up and down the stairs. Option to stay with the foot flex, as much or as little support as you want. This is the inhale on the exhale with a little bend of the knee, we're taking the foot back down. Inhaling out, exhaling back down. Hips are facing forward like headlights, so there's no twisting going on here. Use the right leg as your foundation and any support you need on the right side. Keeping the upper body as still and as stable as possible so the movement is coming from the hip option to take that foot out and stay. Three breaths. So we're rooting through the right foot to lifting up through the crown of the head, but we're also pushing through the left heel too. Stay for the last breath. Foot comes in and then shake out that right leg. Any movement in the hips you need, go ahead and take it round in the opposite direction. Hands coming to the front of the thighs, coming into a seat from here. 
So this is the inhale. Keeping the knees and the toes facing more or less in the same direction, we're going to exhale, take our seat down. I'm going to turn to the side so you can see me. This is the inhale and the exhale. We're taking the seat back as much as we feel comfortable. Looking at the knees and making sure they're more or less in line with the toes. Belly's drawn in, so we're not rounding through the spine or arching. It's kind of a neutral spine as we come down. From here, option to take the seat back a little more and the chest will come forward to counteract the weight of the seat. Option on that exhale to take the arms out in front of you, thumbs to the sky. Rather than the depth of the movement, consider the fluidity. Notice what's happening with your foundation of your feet. Are you pushing in to one part of the foot more? Can you even that out? How does that change the movement? Have you got more weight in one foot than the other? Stay in fluid movement, or the next time we come down, we stay. Option to keep the hands out in front of you. Option to take the arms up as wide or close together as feel comfortable in the shoulders. Front ribs drawn in, supporting the spine. Steady breath. On the next inhale, from here, if you have a wall, I'm going to turn to the back, but if you have a wall or support, the back of the chair or countertop, we're going to um, use this. So from here, using that wall or countertop, we're going to take our weight into the right foot. Left foot hovers, inhaling, curling, exhaling down. Inhaling, exhaling. So it's a steady, fluid movement. Inhaling and exhaling. Consider the movement to be steady. Curling that heel as close towards your seat as feels comfortable. Nice. And we'll go to the other side. So the left foot roots down, right heel lifts, and we're curling. Again, taking support if you need to. And then from here, the same thing. Support in front of you, or hands to the hips. We're going to take the right, or take the left foot back here. Same thing here. Support in front of you on a wall. Hands to the hips. Your choice. Rooting through the right foot. Bend the left knee, lift the heel. Excellent place to stay, or we're taking that left foot back behind us. The hips are facing forward, so we've got extension now through the leg. On the inhale, flex the foot, lift the toes, exhaling there. If you're finding yourself rounding into it, then bring the foot a little bit closer towards you, because we really want the neutral spine here. Inhaling, exhaling. Option to stay, option to lift and stay with that extension through the spine. If you're finding yourself bowing forward, don't go, 
Don't take the legs so far back. You really want to strengthen with that extension through the hip. And then on the exhale, we'll take that down. Same thing, other side. So, taking any support that you need, rooting now into the left foot, taking that right leg back behind you without altering anything in the spine. Toes to the floor, great place to stay here. Steady breath, or we're lifting the toes, exhaling, tacking down. Steady breath, option to lift and stay. Upright in the body, pushing down through the left leg to lift through the crown of the head. If you feel wobbly, no big deal. Rest when you need to, and then on an exhale, we're taking the foot back down here. Any movements you need in the hips, go ahead. Especially hula hooping through the hips, exhaling around in the opposite direction. Nice. We're gonna come down to the floor now. We're gonna... Now we're on the floor. We're gonna use that sense of stability to get movement from there in your own time, in your own way. So, taking the legs out in front of you, you can take the hands behind you, you can sit into those hands, any direction that feels good in your body. And then we'll just flex and extend through the ankles to wake up awareness there. And then we'll circle those ankles in one direction and circle the ankles in the other direction. From here, this is the inhale. On the exhale, we're gonna bend the right knee. Inhale, lengthen. And you can take those hands back to support you and you can even sit back into those hands which will give you a little bit more um, option for movement inhaling and exhaling great place to stay if you want to add on this is the exhale on the inhale we're hovering the leg exhaling bringing it in inhale lengthen Mm -hmm. great place to be now if you want to add on from here inhale hover exhale hover so we're pulling through the leg inhaling and exhaling one more to go the next inhale we take the foot all the way down same thing, other side. Exhale, inhale, left leg this time. Find the foundation underneath you, lift from there. Adding on, hover the heel, exhale, root down. Adding on, Hover the feet all the time. Keep the breath fluid. The movement is coming from the stability. Next inhale, leg comes down. Circle through the ankles in one direction and circle through in the other direction. Now option to stay where you are or we're going to bring that into a more dynamic movement. Hands come back behind you, any amount. Lifting up through the heart, bending the right leg, and then we're coming back onto a balance point. Option to stay where we were or switching. Option to stay here or hovering the heel. The foundation is through our seat and our hands and the movement is through the legs. Option to stay here. Option to rock back. 
and take the movement with the foundation of the hands and the seat. The movement is through the legs. Work with your breath, steady and smooth. Legs do not have to come straight, just a little straighter. Next breath, taking whichever leg is down, lengthening and working through the ankles. One direction and then the other direction. Nicely done. And from here, we're coming all the way down onto our backs. Take any support underneath you that you need. And then from there, hands come down next to your hips. Knees come up. Now ankles can be down by your seat, but the knees are just about over the hips or slightly towards your belly button. Great place to stay. Or we're taking the heels up about knee height, no more. Option to keep the knees over the belly button. Keep the knees over the hips. Well, the option is to take them a little bit away and it's only gonna take millimeters for you to start feeling that drawing up of the belly. So we wanna stay at a place where the spine can feel neutral. So draw the knees over the belly button to start with and notice how that feels in your lower back and make any adjustments you need. Knees can come over the hips. Again, it's just a few centimeters, but this feels very different. If the belly button is popping up and towards the sky now, then bring the knees back over the belly a little more. Otherwise, if you're here and your breath is steady, you can take the knees away just a little, enough to keep the lower back even and the breath steady. You lose the breath, we do less. On the inhale, we're taking one leg out, Exhaling back together. Opposite leg comes out. Inhaling back together. Working with your breath. Noticing if the knees are staying where you want them or if you're extending one leg and the opposite knee is coming over the belly. Keeping the knees steady and smooth when they come back towards each other. And when one leg extends, the other knee is not moving. We've got the foundation underneath us and we're moving from there. The foundation from the spine being neutral. Taking those cues from the body and moving in a way from our body that works. Last one here. Knees in towards the belly. Give yourself a little rug, a little hug side to side. Okay, from here we have the foundation of the hands underneath us. Option to stay here. Take the knees back to wherever they were option to take the arms out and up above you as if you're holding a basketball or a beach ball above you. We've got less foundation, less stability. Same thing in the legs. Extending one leg, then extending the other. The knees are staying wherever it is that you wanted them. You can take a look at them keeping them as stable as possible. Don't worry about how far out that leg comes. We want the stability through the core. We want the breath to be fluid, the movement to be fluid. Now, if this is too much without the foundation of the hands, take the hands down. Your shoulders can root into the floor. You get much more leverage there. Now, if you want to add on, when one leg extends, the hand comes with it. 
and then option to take the arms overhead. Inhaling, your hands are following your leg. Knees are still in the same place. To make it easier, you can draw the knees closer towards your belly or keeping them at a stable distance above the hips. Steady breath, three more either side or resting. Last one. Knees coming towards you. Give yourself a little hug here. Rock and roll from side to side. Anything that feels good. From here, knees come down. And then we're going to take that right ankle over the top of the left thigh. Getting that external rotation. From here, great place to stay with that knee winged out. Or we're going to draw that left thigh in towards your belly. Take hold of the thigh behind the knee or in front of the shin to get into the outer right hip. Thread the needle. Both feet are flexed here to protect the knee. Steady breath. And when you're ready, release down and release that right leg. Coming to the other side, left knee bends, crossing the ankle over the right thigh. Great place to stay. Or drawing that thigh behind the knee or in front of that shin in. Both feet flexed if they're both off the floor. If not just the left one, breathing into that left hip as much or as little pressure as feels good for you and we know what feels best for the body because the breath is still fluid. Notice the foundation underneath you. Notice the fluidity of the breath and work with it. See if you can, there's anything you can do to make it more comfortable for you. Right foot comes down and we release. Arms at a comfortable place, whatever that means for you. And we'll heel toe those feet out a little wider towards the edge of the mat. And then we'll windshield wiper those knees from side to side. Any SI joint issues, you're going to keep this easy movement, even the back of the pelvis staying on the floor. There's another twist you want to take, go ahead otherwise. We're taking those knees over towards one side, lift the opposite hip, gaze away from the knees and breathe. Again, if there's another twist that feels better in your body, go ahead. This is more of a twist coming into the front body after all of that contraction we've been doing. Then we'll go over to the other side, any amount, gazing away from the knees again. When you're ready, coming back to center. And then giving those knees a little bit of a hug, maybe rocking and rolling from side to side, anything that feels really good for you here. Steady breath. Any other movements you want to take to finish off your practice, go ahead. And then from there, coming into relaxation, whatever that means for you. Any support you need underneath your body, please go ahead and take it. And then wherever you are, 
we're rooting down into that support underneath you, that foundation. Soften your gaze, close your eyes if you feel comfortable enough. And take all of your awareness into the places in your body that you have support underneath you. Big breath in. Exhale it out. Big breath in. Exhale it out again. Three more of those, a big breath in, holding at the top. Take another breath in, holding again, soften any tension that you're finding. Last breath in here. Exhale it out, sweep that breath out of your body and let the breath come back to its own natural, easy rhythm. The more support your body has underneath it, the easier it is for the body to relax because it doesn't have to do that holding itself. So there's any little micro adjustments you need to make or any extra support you need to add for your body to be able to relax, then go ahead and do that here. As you let your bones settle. Letting the weight of your bones rest in that support. Imagine roots growing out from your body down into the earth where your body is supported. Imagine that growing all the way down into the earth, making its way underneath the soil, underneath the rock underneath the underground rivers and down into solidity. And feeling yourself connected to that groundedness underneath you. You can even use that root system to let go of anything that no longer serves you that you no longer need send those down the roots into the earth allow the earth to absorb any thoughts any stories any patterns and rest in that support of the earth itself knowing there's nothing else that you need to be doing in this moment. Find your thoughts leading you on a journey. Send them down through those roots into the earth. 
rest in that support. Staying here for as long as you like. Now if you want to stay for longer, just allow my voice to wash over you and stay where it feels comfortable. If you would like to finish your practice from that foundation underneath you of the earth holding you, start to breathe the assurance of that stability. Allowing the breath to be a little more mindful, a little more expansive. And with that breath, drawing in any movements, into your body that feels right for you. Making those movements bigger in your own way. And making your way to a place where you would like to finish your practice, be it where you are, or another shape. As you make your way there, notice that support underneath you. Ground down into that and lift from there. Hands in a gesture of closing. Big breath in, exhaling down. Imagine those roots growing down underneath you. And we lift from there. And take a breath of gratitude for that stability underneath us and for that ability to tap into it within us. And to move from there. From my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you for practicing.